Okay, I got a bit of an extended shop walk today because I have some really special bikes in the lifts. Yeah. Angel is on this 916 SPS. The thing about it is, if you are uh, if you know this bike very well, <laughs> you'll note that the frame is a little different color than stock. And these wheels are supposed to be three spokes, but they are the same wheels that a 996R is supposed to have. So, Right, Angel? We yeah. got a plan for this one? Yeah. Yep. So plan we're gonna, is, we're gonna, what, go ahead, Ted. <clears throat> oh, we're just gonna uh, actually strip these wheels down and, uh, uh, you know, powder coat them and match them to the frame and install them with uh, period correct wheels on the bike. On this one? Yeah. So this is a nice 996R, it came to us from Germany. The problem with this bike, beyond the fact that the wheels aren't wrong, they're supposed to have a lip on them, is it's got this yeah. crazy bubbling going on, which could be because they're magnesium. Yeah. So it's actually from the inside, it's not, brake fluid or nothing like that it's actually like some corrosion inside the paint so um, that kind of sucks because they are pretty nice wheels but it's a special bike it deserves to be done right yeah. so uh, like i said we're going to go ahead and put those wheels which are the proper ones for this yeah. on this one and some three spokes on, on, this one right here. on that one right there yeah. the, both of these will be ready for the auction site once mm -hmm. the restoration is pretty much done yeah. thank you sir moving on yanni has the what is it? Uh, ZXR400R back on the lift. It's the one I keep getting all crazy about because it is an actual R model. You can tell by that subframe. These little skinny little flat slides, little tiny flat slides. Is it running right now? It's running right now. <laughs> all right, let's start it real quick. It's a, knock, it's a stock exhaust, but someone corded it out. It's super loud. Ready? Actually, I don't know if it's stock exhaust. Now that I think about it. No, it is no, not stock. Not okay, I beg your pardon. All right, moving on. <laughs> back on the five kilometer MV Agusta. We had to wait for a couple little parts and they are in. So it's going back together now. Pretty close to perfect bike, right? Just about. A couple tiny little imperfections. We'll point those out in the auction site, but uh, otherwise, like new, close to it. Loose is on the CBR 900. First year bike, first year in the United States anyway. As you can see, he is sinking the carbs, getting it all sorted out before it goes on the auction site. Let's show of this one looks like and hopefully we've got some proper hardware get rid of that blue thing is going on ollie is uh was just doing some final things on the carbs on the r1 almost there ollie almost there. what's that oh that's right yeah this is weird i don't know what happened on this one but whoever had the bike prior opted to cut off this bracket right here you think it was really for weight savings? <laughs> Never, it probably was. Uh, I don't know why else you do it, but hey, whatever. Uh, we have another triple clamp for it. It just needs to be refinished, and um, we'll get this. R1, looking back to its glory days. And let me finish on a high note here because I'm really excited about this bike. This is the uh, Bimoto V-Dewey that I've been talking about for quite some time. It's the two-stroke 500, uh, one of the very few Italian two-stroke 500s that you'll note. This one gave us all types of issues uh, back in the day, a couple years ago. I've been hanging on to it in storage ever since. As I said in our post this morning, uh, the guy that, the reason we have it is we took it on trade on a zero mile bike because I wanted a rider back then. The seat had a little bit of a mouse chewing out of it because it was in the storage unit. We had that all refinished. It had a couple of imperfections. Brian over at uh, BKM cleaned that up. Uh, but it still didn't run. We went through everything and we thought we had it sorted, but there was still an issue with the ECU, which is a one piece ECU dash unit. And our friends over at Promoter Special Parts just sent us that today. So as you can see, we're back on it. If it's not complicated enough to work on, all the uh, wires are yellow. So it makes it very difficult to trace. And <laughs> Steve's over there laughing because it was uh, definitely a chore the first time around. You say it like it's a bad thing. What? You say it like it's a You know there's writing on some of the wires. I don't I don't know if you noticed or not. It's an Italian and it's kind it of is. worn it's out. It's Italian, I don't do that. And they're like those old cloth type wires. So yeah. what do you mean you don't do that? You should do that. Italian? Nah. And again, this is the uh, Evolutione. So the Evolutione has this crazy exhaust. I, again, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but you can see how it's just routed through there all nuts. Uh, when it gets the fairings off in a moment, you'll note that it's got this massive air boxes that go on the whole side. Uh, typically these have fuel injected, but the Evolution only model was uh, modified, or I should say, updated to carbs. Yes. 
So, can you get this thing running? Find a battery for it, and then we'll we'll go from there. If you get this thing running, I'm buying you lunch, and I'm giving you a kiss. <laughs> <laughs>